going on guys? John Alder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to add profile picture images to our tweets and our homepage for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add profile pictures to our homepage tweets. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we added profile picture images to our profile page. In this video, we want to add those same pictures to our homepage tweets. Now, I talked about this in the last video and I suggested you guys could try it yourself. I got a ton of emails saying, ah, I can't figure it out, help me. So <laughs> we're going to do it in this video. It's slightly different than we did in the last video when we added them right here, just very slightly different. So this shouldn't take us very long, but it is interesting nonetheless. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Twitter clone Django series. So check that out if you haven't so far. All right, so first off, let's head over to our profile page that we worked on in the last video. And you'll remember, if you didn't see that video, check the playlist. To add the images, we created an IMG SRC tag and then we called profile.profile underscore image dot URL. Now you would think you could just do that same thing on the home page and that would work, but that's not the case because on this page, we're calling the stuff from the database from a specific user. On the home page, you could see there are tweets or meeps from all kinds of different users. There's one from Tim, there's one from admin, uh, there's one from Bob, right? So we're not just looking up one user, we're looking up lots of users and then we have to grab the images for each of those users. So it's slightly different. So we have to tweak a couple of things, but it's not too bad. So let's head over here. And first, let's just grab our container stuff, right? So this will create a new container inside of the alert. It'll create a row and then two columns, a column with a width of one, and then a column down here with a width of 11 for the rest of the meep or the tweet, whatever you want to call it. So let's just start building this out. So let's grab this. Now let's head over to our home page and let's come down here and find the alert. And there it is. And I'm just going to type in test just to make sure we're in the right spot. So save this, head back over here, hit reload. Okay, it says test right there. Looks like we're in the right spot. So now I'll get rid of that. And instead I'll paste in those divs. And boy, this looks kind of janky. So <laughs> let's just uh, kind of do that, right? So here I'm going to say test and then close this div. And now let's head back over to our profile page. And let's see here. Here are those things we just copied. And then we close that div. And inside of here, I'm just going to grab all of this stuff, copy this, head back over here. And instead of test, I'm going to pop that in. Now, like I said, we're going to have to change all this. And we'll look at all this code in just a second. For now, I just want to build out the infrastructure. So let's come back over here. There's our closing div tag. And then we have another div for the rest of the meep or tweet or whatever. So I'll paste that in right there, right above the meep body. And then finally, we have to close all these divs. So here we have a small closing tag, a closing div, some BRs, and some more divs here. So I'll copy these. And let's look for that. There's the small, there's the other things. So we can paste that in there. And wow, that's, that's sort of do it like this, I guess. Okay, so that looks good. Let's save this and head back over here. This is not going to work, but at least we can see if something looks good. And up, oh, now oh, we've already messed up because we we need a static because we're calling this static thing here. So gotta add that. Almost forgot to do that. So let's come up here and grab our load static tag from our profile page, and let's add this to the home page. Save this. All right, that should take care of that. Hit reload. Okay, so now we've got this round sort of default image for all of these. Now, this isn't correct because we know, for instance, admin has a profile. So if we click on my profile, we've got a profile picture. So it should be showing up here instead of the default. So why is that happening? Well, we head back over to our profile. Remember, in the last video, we looked up profile.profile image, right? Well, that's because for our profile, we were querying a specific user, like I said at the beginning of this video. But on the home page, we're querying a whole bunch of users and we're cycling through them all. So profile that profile image won't work. So what do we do? Well, let's head over to our model and take a look. Now our meep model, in fact, actually, let's look at our views.py file for the home page. 
And we can see, let's see, we're returning the MEEPs right there, right? So what are the MEEPs? Well, MEEPs are right here. And we're looking up MEEPs.objects.all. So we're grabbing all the MEEPs. Well, what are the MEEPs? Well, let's look at our models.py file. And this is the MEEP model. What does the MEEP model have in it? Well, it has a user, it has a body, and a created at. So this is basically just the MEEP, right? The tweet. Well, it also has this user, which is a foreign key. So the user is this user model down here in our profile class, right? And that's the thing that has our profile image. So if we want to get the profile image out of this profile class, we have to sort of connect with this user foreign key. So we could do that. We could call here, let's go user dot profile that profile image. But again, remember, we're passing in meep to the page. So it's meep dot user dot profile dot profile image. And we can play this back, right? So meep dot user, which brings us down here to the profile. So dot profile dot profile image. There we go. So that's how that all sort of connects, right? So if we come back up here, we're going to need to copy this. So we're saying, hey, if there is a profile image, let's put it on the screen. Well, what is it going to be? Again, it's going to be meep.user.profile.profileImage.url, right? Otherwise, just put the, the normal default image. So, okay, that should do it. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, and hit reload, and hopefully, boom, the tweets that have profile pictures, you know, specifically admin, all have our admin profile picture. The rest of them have default because they don't have profile pictures yet. And that looks good. And we could check this. We could check Bob, for instance. So let's go to profile list, click on Bob. Yeah, sure enough, Bob doesn't have a profile image. See right here, neither does Tim. And there's Tim's first meep. Codemy does. So we could test this. We could log out and log back in as Codemy. And let's log in. Let's create a meep. Codemy meep for life. I don't know. We could post this and boom, it shows up on that page and boom, it shows up on our homepage. If we log out and log back in as admin, just to make sure this is all looking right, we see sure enough, there's a code me meep, it's got the code me profile image. There's an admin meep, it's got the admin profile image, and we are moving right along. So not that complicated, just again, very quickly, just remember, since we're passing meeps onto this homepage, in order to get the user profile, we have to go meep.user.profile.profile image. Whereas on the profile page, we were passing in a single profile, say right here. So then we could just call profile.profile image and also profile image.url, anything we want. So it's just how you connect to the model, how you're passing the information onto the page from the view. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 160,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.